I'm sitting back here having lunch, taking my time over it, contemplating what I'm going to do this afternoon. Well, actually, I know what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to go back out and see if I can find some more gold. In fact, I'm going to take the video camera out because I've got a couple of spots marked where I think there's some gold. I'm going to try and get some video of the gold, WA gold, coming out of the ground. Now, I've got to do all this by myself because Mrs. T's gone off back home to catch up with the grandkids and the kids. Left me to my own devices. So, But anyway, I can make myself a sandwich and a cup of tea. And that's the thing about out here. You've got to look after yourself. I know my camp might look fairly basic, but I've got a warm bed, comfortable bed. I eat good food. Well, cheese sandwiches most of, well, and jam occasionally, which I treat myself for, but it's all good. And on a day like today, I'm, I'm having a bit of fruitcake. Well, I don't know that it's a treat because um, a couple of Woolworths ones I bought up with me were very nice. So I was in town the other day and I seen one there and I said, oh, good, black and gold can't be that bad. But, well, I don't know. I'm eating it to get rid of it, basically. Actually, I've got my taste buds on high alert to see if they can find some fruit amongst it. But anyway, that's another thing. So what I'll do, I'll finish off my lunch. I'm feeling very comfortable. I've had my shower. Midday shower today while the sun was shining. Wind's a bit brisk. And talking about brisk, it can get damn cold over here in the west this time of the year and earlier through the winter months. Ice on the water. Yep, I've woke up to ice over things many times. So if you are coming over and you're thinking of camping out particularly like this, Bring some warm clothes and some warm bedding. And talking of that, there's no way you would bring in a big caravan or anything into the spot like where I am at the moment. But anyway, all's good. Cup of tea to finish, my sandwich to go, and I'll take that video down. I'll cart it out with me way back out yonder and see if I can get some photos of the gold coming out of the ground and a little bit of layout perhaps on the ground because today I've had a bit of a mixed day. I found one piece of gold in a big mounded rod of stone. I found the other piece out along fairly flat open sort of country down from a rise which has ironstone and a couple of flies going past, but they won't get to me. I've got my Q fly cream on. But was I saying, yes, down from an ironstone and quartz reef. The ironstone's running through, so I guess that's possibly where the gold is shed down from to a run. So anyway, enough of this. Got to drink my tea before it gets cold, then we'll go see what we've got out there. Oh, cheese sandwiches. Gotta love them. Occasionally have a can of baked beans. Okay, here we have it. This is a spot where I've got a target earlier. As I mentioned, we went to lunch. Now I've brought back the video camera on the stand. So hopefully we can uh, maybe dig a bit of gold here. I'll just turn on the uh, detector. It'll be pretty good if I plugged it in first. If you have a look around here, it's fairly basic looking ground. Over here is a lot of, uh, a lot of big stone. There's a quartz reef over to my left. Another one, I'd possibly see it in the background there with the shot. Uh, over here there's a little stony hill, then it goes up to another quartz reef, flattens out onto more country. 
and uh, so it's all different. I've got a little nugget over there in that mound this morning. I've got another nugget over the back. Hopefully another one there to dig that I've marked for the camera. And hopefully this one here, or we think maybe. We'll see what it is. It's certainly noisy. Uh, it is. It won't be deep. But we'll see what it is. I've done the boot scrape as you can see because I want to do that just to make sure it wasn't a little bit of rubbish that we were just going to set everything up for for nothing. That we had at least a chance that it might be something a little better. So anyway, I'll do this bit of a scrape. As you can see, it's just plain hard red dirt here. So, here we go. Have we got it? We certainly have. It's out of the hole there. singing away there so hopefully the mic levels up all right on this and the winds not affecting it too much uh, about there okay we have it in the scoop tap you see how this red dirt just sits pretty hard in the scoop in the hand. Put that back in there to be ah, whatever. Okay there we have it. That's just a very small, very flat little piece of gold. Probably not much thicker. Not much thicker than a fingernail quite small and flat and obviously quite close to the top so it picked up made quite a lot of noise so that's one out of two and we'll now go to the other spot and have a dig there and see what we can add to the tally okay i just while walking across to this next spot i just thought i might turn the video on give you a bit of a look around at the sort of country that i'm detecting in was back down there that I've picked up the piece of a couple of moments ago that we got on video here. That's where I've picked up one piece a day and it's just here somewhere when I find the right mark that we'll try dig for another piece. Okay we'll get rid of the mark. Stones now this is where the other spot we've got a sign little sound here it sounds louder now than it did before I went to lunch. Maybe it's uh, been out anyway. We'll do the old boot scrape. Hopefully we're not getting too much wind in the uh, mic on the camera. Hopefully the dead cat keeps a bit of the wind off. Sound away and you can still hear me. Not well, too much of a delay. We'll get the pick in. Got a bit of a scrape out. Shallow holes like this don't need to get real big with them. If you're going uh, Going deeper, you've got and you've got a bigger coil on. You need to make the hole so you can get it into the bottom to hear it properly. Anyway, all right, get rid of that stone there to that side. Bring that up like so. It's out of the hole. Yes, it's in that lot there, right in that little one lot there, so 
I've got trees there casting quite a few shadows, so hopefully it's not going to be all in the wrong place. Okay, well, there we are, we've got it in the scoop. Now that's the other thing you've got to watch with watches, if I put that watch down, okay, so I tend to, don't tend to, that's why I use this hand on the scoop. It's all right, sounding good. Sounding good. Hanging in the bottom of the scoop, which is always a good sign. That fine red dirt we're down to now. Makes it hard to see if anything's in there. Well, and there we have it. Yes, it's a nice little piece. Once again, it's a fairly flat piece of gold. Won't show up. Excuse me, I'll give it the old palm wash. Clean it up so you can see it a little bit better. Gooey yeah. gooey butts. That's the way it is out here. That's the way it is with me anyway. Okay, now we've got a bit more colour there. Now I don't know whether I can walk into the camera and keep that in focus or not. But there we have it. Nice little flat piece. Probably weigh around point up around a gram I'd say, so it's good, that's number four for the day. Hopefully I'll work across this area now, I can pick up another one or two before the day is done. Okay here we go, we've got another little spot here, a little sound. I'll just have a bit of a scrape, I just want to make sure there wasn't any, there wasn't a hot rock or something. I'd, had a couple back there a little bit before, but this seems to be persistent, so. Okay, we'll give it a bit more of a scrape around with the boot. Gravelly ground. Okay, we have lost it. Shifted that, and we did have a over there just in case it is a little piece of gold that's been on top of the ground. We'll just check it out. We went and got the video and doing this for nothing this time, I think. No gold to be shown, no sound, there isn't that lot either. No. The good thing about having a nice little flat sided scoop allows you to scoop up pretty much everything that's there. Okay, why, why? Just give that a scoop in a bit. I can put my knee on the handle, keeps it off them sharp rocks. Maybe in about there somewhere. Okay, we do have it this time. Now yeah, it's staying even the star here we go. Picked up twenty plenty of twenty-two shells around here and places, so there's a little bit of lead out of one. So that's what it was, just a little bit of lead. Can't all be gold. But never mind. I keep a happy heart and a low steady swing. I'm going fine. Nuggety thing.